guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been so excited to share today's video with you guys because like I've said before, autumn is my absolute favorite season when it comes to dressing. I just love playing around with different layers and I just feel like I get so much more creative with my wardrobe and yeah, I've just been so excited to finally start preparing my autumn capsule. So before digging into my first thoughts on the whole theme for my autumn capsule and also my wish list, everything, I just kind of want to have a quick look back at summer. So as you might remember at the beginning of the summer season, I kind of found myself in a place where I wanted to dig into the more monochrome color scale once again. And I really feel like it's been nice to kind of get things calmed down a bit because I am a girl who loves my monochrome outfits and I just felt so comfortable in my summer capsule overall so I've been really pleased with how everything turned out. I am not much of a dress girl, I'm not much of a skirt girl either. I have one skirt in my all year basic wardrobe which is a leather skirt and I don't use it nearly as much as I would probably wish that I did but I just find myself much feeling much more comfortable in pants and jeans. So that's why summer is often quite a challenge for me when it comes to dressing. Like I just said, I have been loving my summer capsule though, but I think that next year, something that I will have to write down in my capsule wardrobe notebook is that I should probably have more skirts or different kinds of shorts in my wardrobe because I feel like if you part your outfits like this, if you have like a bottom and a top, you can change things up and you can be much more creative than if you just have a single dress. And that way you can create more different outfits. So that's just a little something to think about for next summer. Um, and I'll put that in my notebook so that when I have to build my capsule next year, I will kind of know what kind of thoughts I have this year. This summer has been kind of special as well because it's been so extremely hot in Europe. So we had this extreme heat wave all over Northern Europe. And uh, yeah, it's definitely been messing with my creativity. That's for sure, because it's just been so hot that, you know, you barely want to, to think too much about your outfit. So I really feel like I am so ready for autumn and I'm ready to get a bit more creative with my wardrobe again. So in the middle of the summer season, I also found myself going through my storage once more. And I think that that probably had something to do with that whole heat wave situation. Um, I got kind of bored with the things that I had in my summer capsule and I felt like shaking things up a bit. And that's why I love having this more free and kind of fluid approach to the capsule wardrobe system because you can never, you never know what the weather might be like that particular season. So it's nice to have the opportunity to go through your storage and dig out some things change things up a bit. You never have control over the weather or your mood or anything like that. So going through your storage is definitely a great way to keep yourself satisfied if you end up feeling a bit bored or if you just need some new inspiration in the middle of a season. And this is also where I feel like my approach with having the capsule wardrobe divided in the, all your basics and then the seasonals, it just works because I don't have to touch my basics at all. It all comes down to just playing a bit around with the seasonals. And it's so easy to do that even in the middle of a season. You don't have to start completely over. So let's have a look at the inspiration for my autumn capsule. I have a Pinterest board with all of my favorite autumn inspiration and it's also from previous seasons. So I just, every year I just load a bunch of new pictures into that Pinterest board. So this year I am, like last year as well, I'm all about those brown and green shades, very typical for autumn. And then also a touch of leopard and a little touch of red as well, just to keep things fresh. So I guess you can say it's it's a very basic autumn color palette for me, but it all comes down to the different items that I will be putting into my autumn capsule because I don't feel like it's gonna be exactly the same as last year. So I've already gone through my storage to see what I already have from last year and I have so many items that I can't wait to start wearing again. And then I've just, you know, gone through my Pinterest board to see if I have everything I need and if there's something I feel like I'm missing or that I'm really just digging this year, I will put that into my notebook. I always make a little wish list um, at the beginning of 
a capsule wardrobe season so that I only stick to these purchases and I don't buy all sorts of different things. So this season I, like I said, I'm gonna go for that very classic autumn color scale with a touch of leopard and a touch of red as well. And then I feel like bringing in some more rock and roll vibes and a little bit more quirkiness and it's probably because I've been keeping things very basic and very simple all summer and I actually often find myself going back and forth to this kind of style, which I think is a, is a natural way of thinking when you like both things. I both like that very rock and roll, very edgy, chic kind of style, but at the same time, I also like a very minimal, very basic style. So I always find myself somewhere in between or going kind of back and forth from season to season. So among the things that I can't wait to, to dig back out is definitely my camel coat and my brown boots from last year that I, both of the things I found them secondhand. And then also my brown jumper that I bring out each and every year. So at the beginning of a new season, I always have a look at my current capsule. So right now I have my summer capsule in my wardrobe and I am soon switching to my autumn capsule. So I always look at the items to see if there's something that I want to to keep in my next capsule. And one of those items are definitely my collades because I feel like they are perfect for autumn. They are so cool with a pair of boots and a jumper as well. I had also considered keeping my dungarees in my next capsule, my autumn capsule, because I love those dungarees so much, but I feel like the situation to where I wear them is more relaxed. I don't really reach for them on a daily basis. So I'm actually considering rethinking my loungewear slash weekend wear capsule. And yes, I know I have capsules all over my closet and it might seem a little out there, but you can basically have as many capsules within your wardrobe as you like, as long as it makes it easier for you to get dressed and as long as it as long as it's a system that makes sense to you and that keeps all of your items and your clothing in rotation and yeah as long as it works for you you can have all of the capsules you want i do have a shelf in my wardrobe for all of my like loungewear so i might make a little pile for things that are just relaxed but still nice so i might put my dungarees in that pile we'll have to see um i'll let you guys know definitely what i do so i'm also really looking forward to just mix all of my brown accessories, my brown and camel colored accessories with this whole autumn color scale. And yeah, I just, I can't wait to, to get started with this autumn capsule. I think this video is gonna be that video where I say capsule the most times, probably. So moving on to my wish list, I always note them down in my little capsule wardrobe planner. I just have a little notebook where I write my end of season thoughts and also my wish list for the coming season. And I base those wishes on my inspiration boards on Pinterest and then also um, before I write anything on that wish list, I go through the things that I already have in my storage. Just so that I keep my consumption on a minimum and so that I don't buy a lot of things that I don't need. So this year I'm really, really hoping that I can add a leopard coat to my collection just to again get that rock and roll vibe into my, my wardrobe. And also because leopard, I, I absolutely love leopard print and I know that it's in particular everywhere this year, but seriously leopard print is something that's very safe to invest in because it's, it's a basic print basically. So I'm really hoping that I will be able to find one in a secondhand version. I've mentioned this before and also in my some of my um, sustainable trend videos that leopard is something that we see each and every year, especially around autumn. We see these leopard coats and leopard boots as well, which is also so cool. So finding one in a secondhand option is a really great and sustainable way to go. So I'm definitely gonna see what I can find on some of my favorite secondhand web shops. Then I've also written a pair of brown loafers on my wish list, which I have actually already bought. And I'll tell you guys all about these loafers in my final autumn capsule video, where I'll do a haul and a whole lookbook and everything. Then I've also written a um, gray cotton jumper on my wish list, and it's a particular one from Everlane that I've been eyeing for a while. And I feel like cotton jumpers are perfect for this time of year for this very transitional weather where you still have days where it's actually kind of hot but at the same time it can get kind of chilly in the mornings and in the evenings as well and i feel like cotton is a great alternative to wool for example because 
wool can make you very sweaty and it's more suitable for those really cold days i feel like at least cotton is just so easy to maintain and to wash as well so there's all sorts of reason why i absolutely love cotton jumpers so that's basically all of the wishes i have this year those three wishes and yeah i just have so many great things like i said that i can't wait to be reunited with and i really feel like this is going to be probably my best autumn capsule yet so i think it's going to be really good <laughs> So moving on to the final point, which is my visual overview. First of all, what I did this time was to open the Cladwell app. And if you don't know it, I'm going to link it down below. I've mentioned it so many times here on my channel. And it's an app that I love to use, especially when you have a capsule wardrobe. It's, it's like the perfect tool to not only plan your capsule wardrobes and like traveling. And it's also a great tool on getting some inspiration when you're getting dressed because it can make a lot of different outfits for you. So this time when I pulled out all of my items from storage, I actually started um, registering everything inside of the Cladwell app. So I just registered everything that I have in storage inside the little storage tab. It's actually something that I should have done a long time ago, but I figured this time around, I'm just gonna do it because then if in the middle of the season, I feel like I need some new inspiration or I need to switch things up a bit. I can just go through my storage inside of that app and quickly have a look what I already have in my wardrobe. And then again, that minimizes the risk of me buying something new when I probably already have something in my storage that I can just pull out. And also in this whole planning phase, I actually find myself playing around with my capsule wardrobe. So I take things from storage and put into my capsule wardrobe and then I take some other things out and then, you know, I'm back and forth like that all the time. And usually it's like one to two weeks before I actually start that capsule wardrobe. So having all of my clothing registered within the Cladwell app just makes things a lot easier in this whole planning phase. So yeah, like I said, it's something I should have done a long time ago, but now it's done and I feel so good about it. So playing around with my capsule wardrobe in the Cloudwell app right now and seeing the different outfits that it suggests, it just makes me so happy. I think it's going to be really good this time around. And yeah, just all of the brown items with all of my basics, it just looks amazing. And then that red accent color, it's just, it just brings some other life to everything. So before the season starts, I've actually planned a day where I just take some of my items um, to the local cobblers. I have a couple of boots that I need to get resold. And then also my black shopper bag, it, it's kind of broken at one of the handles. So I need to see if you can fix that up just so that everything is fresh and new and ready for the new season. I do also have a blog post and a video with how to get your wardrobe ready for a new season, just to make everything fresh and you know start with a clean slate. So if you want to check out either the blog post or the video, I'll link both of them down below for you guys. So yeah, that's how far along I am in my capsule wardrobe planning phase at the moment. Like I said, I'm so excited for this coming season. I can't wait to start playing around with my all of my autumn outfits. So I really hope you guys found this video inspiring. I'm gonna link all of my inspiration down below for you so you can kind of dig into that if you need some inspiration yourself. So this is one of two videos. The next one will be my final autumn capsule and the final overview and a haul and a lookbook, everything that I usually do. So definitely stay tuned for that one if you need just a bit more inspiration before you start your own capsule wardrobe. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for daily outfit updates. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys. I'm addicted to the love that you're giving. Every minute, every day I've been craving